20 most difficult words in English. English is said to have a larger vocabulary than any other language, so it stands to reason that some of those words are going to be just plain difficult. We have some very long words, and there are a lot of words that mean different things or are pronounced similarly but have completely different meanings. We've listed some of these difficult words here just to give you an idea of what you're getting into when you're learning English. Are you ready? One, anemone. Anemone is pronounced anemone. As you can see, that is not how it is spelled. This also isn't a common word, so you may not know what it means. It comes from the Greek word for wildflower, and it's a flower. 2. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. This is one of the longest words in the English language. It has 28 letters and 13 syllables. It is also a tongue twister. I'm not sure I can even pronounce it properly. 3. February. Unlike January, February has an R before the U, which gets caught in a lot of people's tongues. A lot of people pronounce February like February. 4. Phloxenosinylopilification. The longest word in English. It is 29 letters and 12 syllables. It means seeing something as worthless. Funny because that word seems to have a lot of worth in the length. 5. Onomatopoeia. Saying this word and spelling this word is a tricky one. Onomatopoeia is when you make a sound relating to something, like buzz, hiss, or splash. Left. Left isn't hard to say or to spell, however, it has multiple meanings, which makes it tricky for people trying to learn English. Left can mean the left side of your body, or that you left something at someone's house, or that you are politically left, liberal. 7. Park. Like left, park is not hard to say but has multiple meanings. You can park your car in the driveway or go to the park and watch the sunset. This can confuse people who have only learned one meaning of the word, and then it can be taken out of context. 8. Morning. This word sounds the exact same as morning, but is spelled slightly differently and has an entirely different meaning. For a non-native English speaker, this is extremely confusing because it sounds like one thing but means another. Morning relates to the time of day, whereas morning means deep sorrow for someone who has died. Nine, amateur. Amateur is one of the most misspelled words in the English language because the ending is French. Most English words end in ER, like harder, colder, freezer, meaner, but amateur has the U. This is an exception to a basic English rule. 10. Collectible. You would think collectible is spelled collectible with an A, but it is just one of those Ible words that must be memorized. 11. Rhyme. Rhyme seems like it should be spelled R-I-M-E, and it used to be, but in the 1600s it was changed to be more like rhythm, 
which is another hard one to spell and commonly misspelled. Twelve, misspelled. Another commonly misspelled word is misspelled. Isn't that ironic and embarrassing? Miss hyphen spell is an easy way to remember the proper spelling. Thirteen, occasionally. Doubling consonants can get confusing. Oftentimes people put two S's and forget an L. Fourteen, twelfth. It is very common to forget the F when spelling twelfth. Most people even pronounce it without the F sound. Fifteen, weather. Weather is another word that sounds just like another word that is spelled differently and means something else. Weather versus weather. Don't confuse them in your paper because they mean two very different things. Weather relates to the temperature, and weather relates to an option or whether or not you are doing something. Sixteen, principle. When to use principle L-E and when to use principle A-L, just remember that your principle is your pal and a person, and a principle is a theory. 17. Specificities. Specificities is extremely hard to say for people with a lisp. All of the S's and C's make it almost impossible for anyone with a speech impediment. 18. Quinoa. Pronounced quinoa, this is a yummy seed. You just have to know it's a Q instead of a K. One of those words without any type of reason. 19. Timbre. The R before the E throws a lot of people off. Usually words have an ER ending, and it is pronounced like many other ER ending words. 20. Rambunctious. This is a fun and different word to say, spell, and use in general. Bunk is pronounced bunk, a hard K sound. 20. There, we have a list of English words that cause people trouble for various reasons. If you don't get them all, don't worry too much. A word like anti-disestablishmentarianism is very rarely used, even by native English speakers. But now, when you run across these words, you may recognize them.